Hi everyone, this is Let's Go 120 Plus in Prelims 2021 series brought to you by Gallant IAS. So in this particular series, you will uh, be provided with some of, some model questions from important topics uh, that have high probability, high chances uh, for being asked in your coming Prelims 2021. So today we will see some environment questions. So the first question is from Yes, the topic of blue flag certification. Consider the following statements. The blue flag is a certification that can be obtained by a beach, marina or a sustainable boating tourism operator and it serves as an eco label. Second statement, the certification is awarded by the Sweden based non-profit foundation for environmental education. And the third statement says, the program promotes sustainable development in freshwater and marine areas through four Main criteria, water quality, environmental management, environmental education and safety. So, uh, see with regard to blue flag certification, this particular uh, blue flag certification, uh, recently also it was there in news by because 8 new uh, beaches in India has got this particular tag of blue flag. So, it was there in news. So, with regard to blue flag certification, keep in mind it is uh, blue flag beaches, uh, the so called blue flag beaches are the most cleanest beaches in the world and it is a voluntary eco label which is uh, provided or which is given to beaches, marinas or sustainable boating uh, tourism operators and there are certain criteria and uh, both voluntary as well as there are some uh, compulsory criteria that must be uh, met by the beaches or the marinas or the sustainable boating tourism operators so that they are awarded with this particular tag of blue flag. So uh, that particular criteria uh, are divided among several parameters like uh, environmental standards are being taken into consider consideration, the edu uh, environmental education or safety, water quality accessibility all these parameters are taken into account when uh, a particular beach is considered uh, whether it should be awarded with this particular tag of blue flag or not now uh, certain other factors like the water standards the quality of the water or uh, the waste disposal that is this uh, these beaches selected should be having uh, it should meet some certain uh, water standards or it should be free of waste uh, disposal or it should be free of waste and garbages or there should be efficient waste disposal system present in these uh, beaches as well as it should be disabled uh, disabled friendly it should uh, have uh, like um, most uh, modern first aid equipments then it should uh, that like no access to pet should be there with regard to the core areas of the beaches. So such and such uh, many conditions or criteria are there which uh, should be met by these beaches. Now keep in mind the blue flag certification it is awarded by uh, an international NGO. It is awarded by an international NGO which is uh, known as FEE or Foundation for Environmental Education. It is an international NGO not for, for for profit organization which is based in uh, Denmark okay it is its uh, head office it is situated in Copenhagen Denmark and uh, this particular program it was first uh, started in France in 1985 back in 1985 and uh, with regard to uh, the this particular foundation that is foundation for environmental education which is an NGO there are certain other programs or uh, initiatives which is being carried out by this particular uh, organization that also you keep an eye upon like green key eco schools young reporters for the environment learning about forest global forest fund all these are other programs that are being carried out by foundation for environmental education okay so um, with regard to uh, this question, when we are moving on to the question, you can see the blue flag is a certification that can be obtained by a beach, marina or sustainable boating tourism operator and serves as an eco label. See, the first statement is very general. It uh, says about the purpose or uh, uh, what is the mandate of blue flag. First statement is right here. Second statement, the certification is awarded by Sweden-based non-profit non foundation for environmental education. See, you should be very careful while you are going through the statements. If you 
are not saying that Sweden based in this particular statement, then you will end up thinking that second statement is right. Yes, it is being awarded by a not-for-profit organization uh, or an NGO, which is known as Foundation for Environmental Education. Yes, second statement is right. You will end up thinking like that. But see, it is uh, given there, it is Sweden-based. It is not Sweden-based, it is Denmark-based. Its uh, head office is situated in Denmark, that is in Copenhagen. Uh, head office is situated in Copenhagen in Denmark. So, uh, here the second statement it is wrong. That is why the second statement turns out to be wrong. So, if you can actually uh, figure out the second statement is wrong here, definitely you can eliminate option A, option B, option D, directly hit your answer which is option C, 1 and 3 only. Now, third statement also is right here. It says that the program uh, is for promoting sustainable development in freshwater and marine areas through four main criteria. That is the water quality, environmental management, environmental education and safety. That is a right statement only. So, here 1 and 3 are uh, correct statements whereas second is a wrong statement. So, your answer here should be option C, 1 and 3 only. So, with regard to blue flag certification, keep in mind these are the 8 beaches which were recently awarded with this particular blue flag tag. Okay, that is the Shivrajpur uh, beach in Gujarat, the Gogla in Diu, Kasargod and Padubidri beach in Karnataka, the Kapad main beach in Kerala, then Golden beach in Puri that is in Odisha, then Rushikonda in Andhra Pradesh, Rathanagari, Antaman and Kopar. Okay, so these are the uh, 8 beaches which um, were recently awarded with this particular blue flag certification. Now another thing with regard to blue flag certification, when we study about blue flag certification, keep in mind. Uh, along like uh, on the lines with blue flag certification, India has developed or India has an indigenous initiative or program which is known as BEEPS. Okay, that is Beach Environment, Beach Environment and Aesthetics Management Services. Okay, Beach Environment and Aesthetics Management Services, which is uh, carried under or it is a part of the Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project. It is a part of the Integrated, Integrated, Integrated Coastal, Coastal, Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project. Okay, it is a part of the Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project and uh, it is launched by the Society of Integrated Coastal Management. It is launched by the Society of Integrated Coastal Management. And uh, keep in mind this particular Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project, okay, under which this uh, beams is being carried out. So, uh, Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project is assisted by World Bank as well, okay. Project under MOEF, it is being assisted by uh, World Bank as well. So, keep that also in your mind. Uh, so, that is with regard to the blue, um, uh, blue flag certification. Now, the next question. Okay, the next question is with regard to host you crab. With reference to host you crab, consider the following statements. The milky blue blood provides the only known natural source of limulus amebozite lysate, a substance that detects a contaminant called entotoxin. Their blue blood comes from the metal copper in their oxygen transporting proteins called hemocyanin. Okay, so with regard to host you crab, there are certain uh, important facts that you should know. So, this was there in the news. Now, with regard to host you crab, keep in mind that they are marine arthropods. Okay, they are marine arthropods. Though its name says it is host you crab, they are not true crabs. Okay, you know crabs uh, the, and lobsters, they are belonging like to the um, group of or they are examples of crustaceans. But here, host you crab is not a crustacean, it is an arthropod. So, keep that in mind because though the name says it is a crab, it is not a true crab. That is why it is belonging to arthropods. It is not belonging to crustacean. Now, in India, it is uh, mainly it is found in the eastern coast. So, we can say it is mainly found. Oh, it's predominant habitat is in Odisha. Okay, Odisha in India. And with regard to its conservation status, it is belonging to Schedule 4 of WPA. Okay, it is belonging to Schedule 4 of WPA. And in IUCN, in IUCN red list, it is ranging, the species of horseshoe crab, it is ranging from vulnerable to 
uh, endangered uh, category okay uh, this ranging from vulnerable to endangered category and uh, why this particular host you crab it is uh, caught or why it is uh, under threat is because the uh, blood of host you crab is the only known natural source which can detect uh, the bacterial endotoxin okay so that's why it is uh, the blood of host you crab is taken for uh, detecting the bacterial endotoxins in medicinal application for so that is what is the main threat uh, this particular species is facing and uh, why it is blue in color is because uh, their blue color of the blood comes from an oxygen uh, li like there is an oxygen transporting protein present in uh, their body and this oxygen transporting protein which is known as hemocyanin it is containing copper metal okay so that's why you know copper metal it uh, gives a blue um, uh, tint so that's why the blood of uh, host you crab it is uh, milky blue in color so here both the statements are right with uh, uh, in the context of host you crab first statement is right as well as second statement is right so your answer here turns out to be option c both one and two so with regard to uh, host you crab these are some of the facts that you need to know uh, so that's it see you soon thank you